Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are just doing some stuff around the yard. It's Monday, had a pretty crazy weekend, like usual, but I'm sitting out on the front porch while the baby's napping and I am reading this book by Joel Salatin. I have actually never read any of his books. I've been and heard some of his talks. Um, I definitely agree with his practices and how he does things and I have tried to mimic some of what he does here on our farm so I'm just excited to finally don't know what's taking me so long be reading one of his books and um, yeah we're gonna start with this one everything I want to do is illegal <laughs> and uh, move on from there so anyways just wanted to share that I'll let you guys know how it's going and give you a little book review at the end but um, for now let's just go look at the animals and see what's going on we're still waiting on Reba to Pharaoh and we have some bunny updates so let's go see what's going on so yesterday we had some rabbits that um, we processed for the first time since we've started raising rabbits and it was way easier than chickens um, you don't have to deal with all the feathers <laughs> so I'm working on tanning some hides and right now there's salt on them and I'll show you guys here's a white one and then I used I ran out of salt so I had to use pink Himalayan sea salt for this one <laughs> expensive hide tanning and I want to do that because I don't want to waste anything uh, I know people probably have their opinions about fur but if I'm gonna cook the meat to nourish my family and I'm just gonna throw the fur away it seems wasteful so I'm doing this and maybe one day I'll have enough to make a blanket or something I don't know we'll see what happens with it maybe I can make some cute little moccasins for the, the baby because she had a hard time breathing. Because she got bit by a snake? Uh-huh. There was two dots on her stomach. Uh-huh, and they were black and blue and... Around yeah. them were like bluish, black, green. It was really like sad. Sore. Yeah. Sore. So yeah, one of our rabbits got bit by a snake and I'm thinking it was a poisonous snake. I'm not sure, but um, she was having trouble breathing and the wound was like black and blue and it was really sad but um there are sometimes that just happens especially when you have a lot of farm animals sometimes there's going to be some tragedies but i'm super excited about the rabbit processing because it's what we've wanted to do since we got rabbits and the meat was delicious and uh yeah so I'm super excited about that. I used the um, this string method. I might do a video about this. So I use the string and you just hold the rabbits and you pet them. It's very calm. Um, there's no blow to the back of the head. It's just you, there's some separation. So it's just very quick. And then it separates the head from the body and then they die instantly. Um, and then I also put some screws in the tree to hang the rabbit from the same tree to do the skinning and gutting. But uh, let's go see the piggies real quick and do a little quick update on my girls, if I can find them. I think they're in the pig barn right now, but we have been patiently waiting for piglets. Oh, I, see the bully. I just see the bully boy down in the pig wallow. He's so funny. <laughs> so <He's> funny. <laughs> Oh, and Bully's about to go on a diet. He has been eating, he's been eating what everybody else has been eating, and he seems to be getting bigger and not smaller, so we're going to put him on a little bit of a diet, and um, I'll talk to you guys more about that later, how we're going to do that. But hey, girls, what y'all doing? How's it going? It's kind of hard to tell, but... I'm, I'm pretty sure she's got some babies in there. I could be very wrong. I really just don't know. Um, <laughs> I've never done this before. Maybe she's not pregnant, but 
There's a groundhog in here. I think it's a ground. Yeah, is that a groundhog, you guys? Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to leave, and then um, that way he can leave, and he doesn't run up my leg. Because uh, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty freaky. But I don't like that he's in here, because there's about to be baby piglets in here. Hmm. Okie dokie. <laughs> Hey guys, there's a groundhog in here. Y'all wanna come see it? Come here, quick. A yes, come see it. A baby? No, not a baby groundhog. It's a full grown groundhog. It's huge. <clears throat> come on, it's a wild animal, so be careful. No, the fence isn't on. Hurry up. Poke your head at it. It's right there. See it? Down in the corner. Look, come on, come in, come in. Come here, look. You see it? Y'all see it? Okay. <laughs> We can't stay in here long because I don't want him to run at us. I, he's very scared. You can tell he's scared. Um, but we need we need to get out of here so he can um he can get out. All right, friend. We'll see you. We'll see you later. <laughs> Please get out of here. Y'all are not like doing a good job at like keeping people out of your house. You're just like allow anybody to walk up in here. <laughs> Reba, go go get it out. Tell it to leave. All right. Well, that was kind of interesting seeing the groundhog, huh? Yeah. yeah. All right, I want to show you guys our new bunnies that I got from a friend. We did a little trade. It was not a very even trade. I got four male rabbits and I gave him one female. And I plan to probably process three of them but they are huge so i want to at least keep one for breeding stock i mean they are big and beautiful all right let's show you guys all right here's one of them and just to like give you an idea about how big this baby is his head is massive his head is so huge he's definitely like a 15 pound rabbit he has to be so there's this big white one. See, this is the size of my full-grown ones. And then this is this white one back here is Baby. one of his full-grown males. Hey guys. Hi everyone. Look at this one. He's so pretty. Oh. So far they're they're not fighting yet. I'm sure they will be. So all right, let's feed these babies. Don't step on him. That's not nice. Can we feed him? Are we going to feed him? Let's feed everybody, okay? Yeah. Here, come on. Let's feed. Say, come here, bunny, bunny, bunnies. Uh -uh. Oh, good. Yeah, don't dump it out, okay? No, no. Leave it alone, okay? Leave it alone, Lorelai. Oh. Still got the duck eggs in the incubator. Everything's going good with that. Oh, shoot. Just got stung by a yellow jacket. These things are awful out here. I can't catch a break with these guys. They are so bad. I was really minding my own business, I swear. Jeez, Louise. Oh, that stings so bad. I mean, it feels like somebody is like, Slamming my foot is awful. Jeez, I mean, that would hurt the baby so bad if that happened. It is an awful, awful feeling. It is just that time of year, I guess, and I have flip flops on, but I didn't step on it and just. Oh man, it is like. 
the amount of pain that it causes. I wonder if I might be a little allergic to them. I have no idea. I mean, like, it attacks my joints. And it goes all the way up my leg. I mean, I just don't remember it feeling that bad as a kid. But maybe it did. Now I'm super concerned that there's more. And the baby's out here. So... Let me, um, Mommy. I'm going to turn this off. Mommy. All right, so there's no sign of any more that I can see. So we're just going to go feed the pigs now and check on everybody. So earlier today I saw Reba moving some sticks around like she was trying to build a nest. So that's super exciting if that's the case. I really, really hope that is getting close because my calculations are correct it should have been around the 12th so here we are a couple days after that or maybe just one day yeah maybe she was 13 so I, I mean it really could be any day now any day now i'm gonna feed the chickens real quick oh my foot i feel like i need ice in this bag all right so the chickens are fed Let's go feed the pigs. My piggy babies. So I think I'm going to switch what I'm feeding the pigs. I said something about that earlier. Um, I think I want to start using beet pulp as filler. It's good fiber. It's good for them. And it makes them feel full without giving them the extra calories that they don't need. Because they are getting overweight. So some days I'm like, is she pregnant? Or is she just fat? I don't know. I really hope that I'm not overfeeding them. I thought, I, I feel like I've been doing the right thing with that, but maybe not. Maybe I have been way overfeeding. I'm not sure. So I'm gonna give them a smaller scoop of pellets. So the next time I go to Tractor Supply, I'm getting alfalfa. And so I'm gonna feed them beet pulp, pig pellets, fresh alfalfa and chaffe and that's gonna be their diet and then you know if we have fresh veggies and things like that of course we'll give them fresh fruits and vegetables as they come because um, like right now everything's kind of everything in the garden is dying so we don't have a whole lot to offer at the moment but then we're going to start planting our fall stuff. Oh, I thought I saw blood. I got really excited. Somebody stepped on a pepper and it was a rotten pepper, I guess. And they like smeared it on the ground. I was like, oh, maybe she's <laughs> like having piglets and I just don't see them. And that is not the case. There is like just a muddy butt there going on there. <laughs> just a big old muddy butt. Hey! Look at you, bully. Goodness gracious, bully boy. What is going on? Let's go in here. Gotta get into Fort Knox. Move the big log out of the way to get into the dog yard. Back up, Birdie. Back up, Preacher. Back up, guys. Back up, back up. Well, hey there. Hey, Repo. Hey, boy. Oh, goodness. All right, let's go check in the chicken coop. Let's see what's going on in here. Oh, you gonna go see the, the chickies? What are the chickies doing? Preacher, watch out. Oh, boy. Preacher, watch out. This is not an optical illusion. This is how big this dog is. <laughs> His head is about as big as her body. Like, seriously. He is a big boy. Oh, is he giving you kisses? 
it's hard to like really ever get a good size comparison with him because like even in pictures depending on where he's at he might not look as big as he really is he is a huge boy he's a big baby though preacher don't you be messing don't you be messing hey sweet boy I need to scoop the poop. I I have to scoop the poop every single day. It's, it's if not, it is a little overwhelming the amount of poop that is in this yard. All right, let's check out the chicken coop real quick while I baby free. Oh, look at them! They balance the eggs. That's so funny. This little pyramid of eggs. I'm so funny. Balancing so nicely. Alright. So I've got a predator problem still, you guys. Between uh, the snake biting, the eggs keep going missing. I don't know what to think about everything. Okay, there's some eggs in there. They actually feel pretty warm. She keeps them covered. the yard straighten up a little bit I found a water hose I'm gonna put that down there and see if Reba wants to use it all right let me find some feed bags oh here's more here's another one we'll see if she'll we'll see if she can make use of these things all right let me go toss this in there and see if she thinks I'm crazy or Hi guys! I got you some fun things. So there's some just random things for her to use if she so chooses to use those things for her nest. But like I said, maybe she's just overweight. This is my first time doing this. I mean, with Willow when we had the goats. I was faked out for like a month. I just knew it was going to be any day, any day. And like there's no sign of like discharge and things like that. Like with the goats, there were obvious signs that babies were, were coming. But not with the pigs. So I don't know if I'm just way off on my timing or if she's just not pregnant. So, okay. so I'm down here at the cafe. I'm gonna grab a bag for the pigs because they haven't had cafe in a while and I'm gonna start putting that back into their diet. But you gotta kinda do that slowly. You don't wanna introduce a whole bunch at once because then they might get a tummy ache. Let me grab a bag and pull it up the hill. The girls like it. They're happy it's back. They haven't had it in like a week. Is it good? Yes, it's yummy, huh? <sighs> All right, that's probably gonna be it for this video. We gotta go inside and get ready for a birthday party that we're going to. We have a friend of ours that's turning 40, so we're excited about that, but yeah. I can't wait to show you guys piglets if that is in our future. Um, if not, we'll still stay up to date on the piggies. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys next time. Bye.